Hello everyone. In a previous video we talked about how to get a Raspberry Pi up and going and including uh, connecting to the internet. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about how to adjust some of the configuration settings on the Raspberry Pi. Here I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi uh, remotely. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. Uh, but for right now, uh, this command prompt it uh, will look the same if you're you're using your Raspberry Pi directly, like I showed in the uh, getting started video. Uh, so the first thing we're we're going to want to do uh, to access our configuration settings is we'll type in sudo, and it's uh, raspi uh, dash config. Just like that, and hit enter. Uh, and this will uh, this might look slightly different, but the menu will be the same uh, if you're accessing it directly. And uh, one of the first things we'll do here is we'll go down to option four here to yeah uh, inter inter internationalization options, and hit enter. Um, you you may want to change your locale uh, depending on uh, on where you're at. You hit enter there, and it'll come up and just use the arrow keys to go down through these uh, and it's going to be EN for English and you can see it's uh, GB I'm guessing that's a great button um, uh, we want EN US and we'll use the UTF-8 and so that's that's the option we want and we'll hit enter right there uh, Yep, 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 that's what I want. Okay. I'll just take a minute. Okay, and uh, next we will go ahead and we'll change your time zone. And I am in the uh, United States, and I'm in Eastern Time. And just use the arrow keys to go down through these, and then you hit enter to select it. Uh, so there you go. I got my uh, my time zone set up. And next, you'll want to set up your keyboard. Uh, if you uh, by default, if you went in and you're at the command line and you hit Shift Three, uh, which should be a pound sign, it will be um, it'll look a little different to you. So you'll need to change this uh, right here. And we'll go to 104, uh, generic 104 key PC. And we will hit other here. And it's going to be uh, English US. And so now we have English US up here. And we'll hit that. And. Uh, that's fine. Just I just select. I just go with the defaults for the rest of these, and that's uh, setting up my keyboard. And now that's all set. Uh, the other thing you might want to go do. Uh, so go to your advanced options, and if you want to uh, get into the remote access uh, that I'm going to show you in a future video, you want to go down here and enable uh, your uh, SSH. Uh, mine is already enabled uh, and I'm actually using it so I'm not going to do that but this is where you'll go you'll hit enter there and you'll uh, uh, select a proper choice to enable uh, access through SSH uh, some other things here just to be aware of um, just you have your device tree enable uh, serial peripheral interface enable I2C serial audio so, so on uh, so those are all things uh, later on if you need to use those things this is where they are to go set them up I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just going to hit back here. And uh, that is about it for the configuration. Uh, I can go back here and hit finish now. And I'm back to my command line. Uh, so now uh, that's how you adjust your, your basic configuration settings on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, please subscribe, like it if you like it, share it. And we'll talk again real soon. Uh, I think in the next one we'll talk about how to actually access through SSH. So uh, check back real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.